Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So today I thought I'd talk to you guys about transparency and the importance of transparency. And it's quite a suitable topic because today I'm in a bit of a rut, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not feeling myself and I'm just super unproductive. I've done basically nothing today other than talk to the team, talk to Dan, and it's bugging me. But that's okay, we're allowed to feel like that from time to time. Um, it's not like I'm at a stage where I want to curl up in a ball and cry in, in a corner on the floor in my room. Um, I just feel a bit flat, you know, I can't uh, get my head around anything, I can't focus. And it's not like I've had um, too little sleep, I've had enough sleep. Um, if I had to try and guess why it was, it's probably because yesterday was a really exciting day at Q. It moved really quickly, loads happened, and then today, we're sort of at a crossroads where we need to wait for a little bit um, before we can action some of the things that we wanted to do. So it's like all this stuff like building up, like really excited, can't wait for it. And I wake up the next day and it's like, it's just flat. Uh, and it was raining and it was miserable. And uh, I needed to do some shopping so there wasn't that much good food in the fridge. And food makes me happy. <laughs> so I don't know I think it's just a combination of things like that uh, a little bit of a sort of anticlimactic day and it's left me feeling a bit flat but it's okay to feel like that we all have that and it's okay to admit it it's okay to talk about it we don't have to always pretend that life is always amazing and that we're brimming with energy and loving everything that we do because let's face it it's never like that um, so today I'm being honest with you telling you that I'm not in the greatest of moods but I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna change it, because it's important. When you feel like that, you've gotta do something about it. And although I've not been very productive today at work, I am gonna shoot this vlog for you guys, and I want to talk about why we find honesty and transparency at Q to be so important to our success. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, it's a bit rainy outside, but I think, in all honesty, when you feel like this, the important thing to do is get outside, get some fresh air, get some vitamin D, some sun rays on your skin, because I'm pasty and white, and just listen to the birds. It's a good time of year. The birds are all trying to make their nest. They're making loads of sounds, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna get myself out of the house. I've not been out of the house for two days, which can easily happen when you work from home. It's just one of those things where if you've had a really focused day at work and you've really got stuck in, you don't think about leaving the house because you're so sort of in the zone. You're, it's, it's what you wanna do, you wanna be there working. So today I'm gonna to go for a run, even though it is raining again. When I started the vlog, I was gonna to say to you guys, it was crappy this morning, it was rainy and wet, but now look, boom, it's nice and sunny, but I'm looking outside and it's not actually nice and sunny, it's rainy and miserable and cloudy. So, doesn't matter, I've gotta get outside, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna talk about transparency, so let's go. talk to you guys for a little bit. This is the local duck pond. Basically people just come to read the newspaper and watch the ducks. It's quite relaxing. So transparency. It's not something that was talked about much like 10 years ago and there's different levels of it. So at Q we're completely and utterly transparent about everything internally amongst the team but we're not 100% about like sharing all of our revenue figures. We do, we do actually share it when we do podcasts and interviews because we don't have anything to hide. But at the same time, if we share everything, it does put us under a lot of pressure as a company and you get people sticking their oar in and oh my God, this rain is getting really heavy. So this is supposed to be cheering me up on a bad day, yeah? Good idea, Matt, idiot. Sorry, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna let it get. I'm just gonna get wet. Um, anyway, as I was saying, there are different levels of transparency. We we tend to share everything. We're completely open about what salaries we're we're on. Um, we share everything about our strategy with the team. Um, nothing's hidden, and and there's a very good reason for it. One is that um, it builds trust, um, which obviously. Any relationship, whether it's personal or work, requires trust in order to grow in a safe way. 
Now we're also um, completely transparent with our shareholders and this is something that we've received a lot of praise for from the investors who initially gave us some seed capital to start Q because every single month we send them a shareholder report and in that report we put um, four main um, snippets of news from that previous month and we, we categorise it in terms of the great, the good, the bad and the ugly. So it's exactly 50-50 in terms of good news and bad news. And there's a very good reason for that because forcing ourselves to pick bad things out of the month's activity gives us a, a specific focus to look at in the next month. And by sharing it transparently with our shareholders, it means that they can then use their experience and their network to reach out to us and say, hey guys, I noticed that you've had some problem uh, with churn recently. Well, I've just invested in a company which helps reduce churn for SaaS companies. So I might be able to hook you guys up and you can have a chat. And it's really helpful. And, and having that openness means that you don't have anything to hide. There's no, there should be no anxiety or nervousness. And it means that you can operate in a completely stress-free way and react to negative news really quickly. Um, and the same thing applies with our team. I'm gonna have to change hands because my other hand's freezing and I can't even hold the phone anymore. But um, yeah, so transparency. Like today, not feeling great. And I can just say to Dan, mate, you know, I'm not on top form today. I haven't done all that much that I meant to get done on my to-do list. I'm just gonna take half a day to go and get rained on by a duck pond and talk to my phone. Uh, and he'll say, great, do whatever you gotta do to make yourself feel better, Matt. Um, <laughs> and if we didn't have that level of honesty, I'd just be forcing myself to sit nice and warm in the house and not get rained on. So, you know, it cuts both ways. I'm literally sat here in shorts and a t-shirt, just getting pissed off, sat by a duck pond. And there are people walking by me like, what is wrong with that guy? Literally cars are beeping at me like, do you want a lift? <laughs> I don't believe this. I better get running, otherwise people will just think I'm bona fide, like mental. So my drone just disconnected from my phone when I was flying it over these fields. I was trying to get a shot over near that, um, that bridge and it was just hovering above, <laughs> above this hedgerow. And uh, all I could do was ask it to return home. So it lost GPS signal. It was just hovering there for ages. Eventually it starts to like return home, but then it comes down right over these telephone wires. I don't know if you can see those but there's some telephone wires there and it hits the telephone wires, which isn't great for it. And then it hovers down just over this brambly bush where there's a massive sign saying no trespassing, but it won't, it won't land for me. Uh, I can't connect my phone to it at all. So what I have to do is <laughs> climb up onto a, a slippery brick wall above like a thorn bush and jump and try and catch it. And I managed to get it. And then when you turn it upside down, it, turns it off so long story short a bit wet a little bit electrocuted but fine this is turning into a little bit of a uh, an adventure guys oh boy i am glad to be back that was cold and wet but a lot of fun and yeah i do kind of feel i kind of feel a lot better i'm gonna jump in the shower and then and then i'm gonna get back to work so i do feel rejuvenated but yeah, not, uh, not how I planned it, for sure. Okay, so um, one, one company that you should definitely look into if transparency is something that you find intriguing for your own startup is Buffer. And Buffer have been an enormous source of inspiration for us ever since day one, really. Because they started a transparency blog. And on that blog, they had a database with all of the, tra with all of the um, salaries of the entire team with every decision they've ever made, the thought process behind it, um, 
the the way they went around Im about implementing it and um and anything that bad that's happened to them like once they had to make like tens of layoffs um once they'd grown to like a team of just over 100 i think it was and they made some really severe cutbacks which was obviously a massive blow to them because they they had um cash flow issues and uh, and most companies would hush that up but fair play to them they were very open about it and very honest and they divulged everything and that was not an easy time for them but they've weathered that storm and i think probably um joel the ceo of buffer will will say that you know being able to share that has probably provoked a reaction from a lot of advisors at buffer who were able to help them more easily so definitely the the best thing that you can get from transparency and honesty and openness is that um fast reactive support network a lot of people probably criticized buffer um when they said that they were being completely transparent and said well let's see let's see how long that lasts you know wait till something bad happens and then let's see if you're you're still transparent then and you know in fairness they were so they're a very interesting case study of this um we do intend to be more transparent moving forward but right now we are um for us, the right level of transparency. We're completely transparent with the people that matter operationally to the business. So we don't hide anything from our users in the sense that anything that um, affects them, we tell them well in advance. We don't sugarcoat it. We don't use any hyperbolic statements. We say, we tell it as it is. And with our team and with our investors, um, with our friends and family, we are completely and utterly open and honest and transparent about everything. And that has yielded good results for us so far. Transparency for the win. Boop, boop. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.